All right, folks, the deck is Death Rattle Cube Rogue. The goal of the deck is to use Efficient Octobot to reduce the cost of some of our cards, equip a Necrium Blade, and trigger some Death Rattles. We've got Infiltrator Lillian to do some Screaming, as well as Burning Blade Acolyte to get a large wall of thick taunts. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. I almost forgot my own stream. Their deck tracker is up. We're good. Uh, Hunter is probably not a great matchup unless we get a whole lot of uh, Lillians to uh, rush them down. Keep these two and probably coin the Swindle into Shiny Finder, just get some cards moving. Could also Extortion on turn one, but that doesn't seem very good. Oh, it's even. I definitely don't want to trade the Extortion then. Hey, Celery. Uh, Broom is probably good in this matchup. Do I still... I think I just want to play for board here. That means I'm not going to Swindle until turn three with the uh, Extortion. The deck runs a lot of two threes. So let's make a two three that challenges theirs. I can develop the sheet behind it and then just Extortion Swindle on the follow-up. Kind of awkward. The only punish here, I think, is the Steam Weedle Sniper. And it is a punish, for sure, but going wide into the Felma is generally a good idea. Ugh, that came off the top. Can I actually just go here and here now? Keep cool. Welcome, Glitchy. Ow. Aim for the wheels. This is not going the way I'd hoped. Right. Yeah, this is bad. Uh, I do have Extortion into Necrian Blade, but I've still got that Felmaw coming at me. So I think... My only viable top deck here is a Burning Blade Acolyte into Punch with the weapon. Maybe a Secret Passage into Lillian could work too. Aim for the wheels. Good god. Their magic. There goes that flame. Is there anything that gets me out of this? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Missed a lethally. Thank you for the 14 months. 14 months flying by. Been working a lot recently, but I always catch you daily content. Love your work. Keep slaying. Well, thank you for that support. Uh, I hope you're finding some time for yourself amongst all that work. Really good podcast this week. Enjoyed it during a morning jog. I think, uh, yeah. A lot of people maybe didn't necessarily like the title all that much, but it's not that far from the truth. Little Nick, thank you for the three months. Early raffle? Yeah, early raffle and short raffle, unfortunately. I've got uh, a few people coming to the house, including a new PC. Biscout, thank you for the 13 months. Happy 13 months, raffle. I always look forward to your daily uploads. Well, I appreciate that. Good old Baker's Dozen. All right, against Warlock, none of these cards are good.
This seems reasonable. I could uh, coin this, curve this into this. Um, if it's even, they don't really have a good source of four damage. So coining the Octobot seems pretty good here. Tough choices. It's possible they have like a um, Zeph and uh, Silence or Zeph and uh, Eviscerate or Zeph and uh, Shadow Word Pain, but allocating into the mana to this now is a pretty good play here. God. Uh, the problem is I may have to proc it myself because uh, like they don't really develop small minions in the early game most of the time. Efficient is looking pretty sufficient right now though. Oof. Dysfunctional. Dysfunctional. Could proc that, but I think I'd rather just uh, trade it. Job done. These are uh, these are not good because they're gonna drop something rather large here. I think. Hey, face bomb. Hey, you're welcome, Seller. Glad you're liking the videos. So early today, yeah, I've got to hop off early is uh, is why somebody's um, I've got work being done on the house and I don't know when the person is going to <laughs> get here. So there may be an abrupt end to the stream as well. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, you saved me. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but you definitely saved me. Any thoughts on what the mini set will be themed? Um, my guess would be the stockades, because that's like a um, dungeon in Stormwind. Seems like a good turn. Daffy, thank you for the prime. Cool. Mini set can't come soon enough? Yeah. True. An announcement for the mini set can't come soon enough. Uh-oh. Just hit straight into that. Oh my god. Well, could have been worse. Most of their turn, I've got, uh... Nine... How much is this? It's eight... Sixteen. I'm one off. It's too risky into Reno, I think. Nice. Ruffle, please tell me you're going to do the Lily and Yell. I have no choice. More bones to gnaw on. I am contractually obligated to do so in a contract that I signed with myself. Too 
bones and ashes. Yeah! Yeah! Bummer. Job done. I mean, they're at one, so barring a Reno, I think we're okay. But Reno would be pretty bad. I mean, it's still lethal. We just get a thick Sony on the board. Yeah! Easy. No Reno, no problem. I think it was a Reno list, though, because they had a lot of uh, atypical cards in there. Hey, Dylan. Necron Blade is good, but I think I'd rather find early game. Like a Shiny Finder and an Octobot. Here's a Shiny Finder. Turn one is uh, typically just a whiff, but I've got a good turn two. We have turned our Another even lock. That's on the current wild meta. Um, if you check this week's State of Wild, I spent about an hour and a half talking about it. I think I'd rather get the weapon than um, develop the Octobot. Just because the Octobot can be a little bit... I'm sorry, what? Dylan, thank you for the gifted sub. Okay. I think if it's Reno, if they're running rats. But I did get a free 4-6. I mean, losing the cube is a bummer, but... They just kind of developed that for me. I think they assumed that I was uh, Kingsbane. Right on two seems risky. I think after Shiny Finder, it's safe to assume that it's uh, Kingsbane. I might have made the same play in hindsight after thinking about it more. Like, it's only risky if you can see my hand. Dylan, thank you for the four months. Feels like just yesterday I sub. Still the only stream I watch consistently when I have time between work and college classes. Well, glad you're enjoying the content. Thank you for that support. We just go here and here. Or not. There's no reason to attack right now. Hysteria could uh, clear the Octobot without 
get in a proc, but yeah, they've got uh, <laughs> got larger issues. Is this a defile? Okay. That's pretty good. No, that worked out for them, unfortunately. Okay, that's a good start here for the swindle, because I don't want to give up the weapon necessarily. Did I just draw extortion off of the roll the bones twice? Okay. Given the hesitation that they had at the end of turn, I was about to say it's probably a race dead, but I don't know that race dead is good here because I get Neophyte and Dirty Rat. I think they would have been better off waiting for that. Because that's kind of a big deal. Hey, Leo. And if it is, in fact, Reno, they just, like, use their lone copy of Raised Dead, and that's fine. Oh, I thought they were going to have a coin mountain giant moment. Umbra would have been nice to get reduced. Uh, I gave up the extortions for no reason, or at least one of them. I could have traded the other. I changed my play midway through, though. I really wanted that with the Umbra and the weapon. That was, like, probably my best bet getting online here. But I think it's fine. If I can find, like, a secret passage or something, I should be able to get out of this. Sure. I mean, at this point, it's just got to be uh, Reno, right? Nothing. Nothing else really makes sense to me. I don't want to develop the uh, Umbra. What can I get with this? I could cube, like, a uh, Sonya? That might be fun. I could cube the uh, Umbra. I think I'm just floating five mana here, unfortunately. Fresh out of the oven. Sure. Probably need to start taking some of the minions with attack off the board. Well. Have to choose. Ugh, this is still not a good spot for me. Maybe I can develop the uh, Umbra now. But the board is clean. Uh, this is the only punish, I think. Well, we do get the uh, Sonya cube play here. I can maybe get something going, but I need like a broom. Would have been really nice if that uh, Umbra had stuck. I 
I've already seen Defile. I've already seen, like, they need another AoE. Or Zephyrus. There are a lot of ways to deal are with this. That's gotta be GG, right? Unless I hit, like, exactly Secret Passage off the top. Rip. Uh, not trading the extortion was really punishing. Alchemist Joker, thank you for the five gifted subs. Really appreciate that. More warlocks. Your soul shall be mine. Coin swindle into shiny finder. I don't think the passage or the sheep are what I need in this matchup. I've got enough draw without the swindle. Okay. Acolyte's pretty good. We have turned our curse into our strength. Another swindle. Job done. Yeah. Can help me deal with uh, the large minions that they'll inevitably have. But like curving a uh, Umbra into Acolyte is pretty good. Especially with a weapon equipped. I could also go with the uh, Lillian. Depending on how the opponent responds. I'm gonna keep the weapon equipped here, or because I want to swing on five with the burning blade. Oof. I don't think I can get away with the umbra, can I? Hey there, 96. Hey, thanks, Joker. Have a great day. Appreciate you stopping by. Okay. I get the sense that this one is not Reno. I also missed a tap. So one and three. Uh. Yeah. Okay, that's the second best target at least. They're a good mill mage deck. Uh, define good. Also, probably not. Why are they not tapping? Seems needlessly passive. One, two, Three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four. Oh. <gasps> That's one, two, three. You're only doing three damage. Give me that. Love what I want. Too soon. Ah. 
I just don't want to get blown out by uh, Battlemaster. Double giant. I don't think I can avoid the double battle master here, can I? Cheap and broom. God. Suddenly this seems manageable. Still dead. Hey, Umbra. Warrior means we want big taunts. Embrace the chaos. I make my own luck. Broom might be useful, but I think I can do better than Broom. Especially since it's not like a turn one anyway. I want to find a uh, shiny finder and Octobot pretty much every game. There's the shiny man. There's another one. Ooh, sheep is great. Do I ever just develop the sheep here? <laughs> yeah. I want to be able to deal with the cannon. I'm early today? Yeah, I'm going to be uh, short as well, unfortunately. Ugh. Yeah, could be worse. Well, I did not draw a card this turn. Gonna be a phenomenal sheep. I don't even need to uh, attack into any of these minions. I just go sheep and face, and then develop the uh, shiny finder behind it. Because the sheep goes off twice.
Someone's got to lead the charge. Oh, they drew the anchor. That's embarrassing. It's a very good pickup for me. Need to find the acolytes. I could go fishing for one with the um, secret passage next turn, just because like. The only card that matters from this spot, I think, is the Acolyte if I want to win. Ow. Oh, God, no. Ugh. Wait, we did it? can cube this next turn, or cube the taunts, or I can uh, unearth Raptor and Broom. Either way, I can lead with a Roll of Bones, I think. And either way, the opponent's going to have a hard time getting through this. Actually, Terran would be phenomenal. Especially with the Raptor. I could go Raptor, Secret Passage, Terran. Wait, they got through? That's disgusting. They definitely want to trade into the Acolyte. But, good news for me. Yeah. Uh, I think I go here, fish for the... Terran, because Terran is just like game winning if I hit it. Could go here, here. Or I could trade this. Play this, maybe. So many options. They've got five damage showing. They're probably playing the Rakara. I think I just want to take him off the board. I can... If I find an activator for the cube, I can cube the uh, the taunt and get more taunts. But I don't want to risk like a weird captain thing happening. I'm already in danger of dying to two cannon shots, which is pretty brutal. Oh, we got the raptor back anyway. Three, six. Uh, I'm going to go for the secret passage again. Same play, just looking for the Terran here. I didn't need to give this rush, but I could have saved the broom. Alright. Got a decent number of ta uh, targets for this. Oh god, no. Not the mall. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Why you do this?
Oh, thank God. They got the 50-50, they just missed the, uh, the 1 in 5. Um... I think that that could have been prevented had they... Uh, traded over the Acolyte. Because they already had me in range of two cannon shots, there's no reason to, uh, go face because three is the same as four. <clears throat> I think I can do better than Lillian in the early game. Okay, looks like Reno. It's uh pointless. I think it's likely they have an immediate answer to this. A lot of their twos and even threes are minions rather than spells. I was wrong. I can go extortion uh, swindle. It's not that likely that I um, need to extort the opponent's minions. Until I guess the Kazakus. Okay. Oh, that works too. Now I can just go weapon swindle, and that's much better for me. And I can go here and here. They do want the cube reduced. Probably trade the extortion first though, because I don't really have much. Use for an extortion, I don't think. You get cleared by Psychic Scream, which is almost certainly in the deck, though. A good pickup. Let's see what we get off of this. I need to find something or like a value engine. Fine. So I need a death rattle minion. But I think I would rather find an acolyte, so passage into thing. Not a thing. Oof. Oh god, these are not good. Is this good? Yes it is. Just doing damage here. Yeah! Uh, we've got Cube Terran next turn. Or Cube uh, Raptor. But Cube Raptor is a little bit risky given that... Um, I could go Terran Raptor. But... I don't know about the raptor when I'm going into, uh, like, the scream turn. I think I... I'm just gonna cube it this turn. Boros, thank you for the five months. Uh, if we get screamed, we have refill. If we don't, we... I don't know. Hit the broom? Easy.
What is the win condition? You are literally watching it. <laughs> Gotta be Reno, but... Even that, I'm not sure I'll solve the problem. I just, I don't know. Maybe I should have just developed the Raptor, but I'm still very scared of uh, Psychic Scream. Must consider. Does the deck run Scream? Yes, because you need a Sevens, right? There aren't many better Sevens. You just run Mutanus and Scream, typically. Does this deck have an OTK possibility? I mean, my deck? Probably not. Uh, it could if it's... Uh, running Leroy, but Leroy is pretty heavy. Uh, huh. Wait, there's a sheep in here. Maybe I can crowd the board enough? I don't know. I have no idea what's about to happen here. Okay. Well, that was uh, not what I was expecting. I thought I had a Lillian, but the cubes had the Lillians. So that's why it didn't work out. I am still threatening 31. So Reno doesn't solve the problem. I wonder. Anduin probably doesn't either. That certainly doesn't. What knowledge do the stars provide? No. That's not good. That is good, but not here, so. Hmm. It's drawing straight blanks here. I really don't want to develop the sheep or copy the sheep's uh, death rattle, so. Well, this is unfortunate. I haven't drawn a single Burning Blade Acolyte is the main problem here. Back in Sonya to bounce the cube to... Uh, uh, that's a full clear, never mind. That is worse for me than a uh, Psychic Scream, unfortunately. Like, I just don't see a way back from here. Ugh. Both Acolytes bottom seven. Watch your step. I make my own luck. 
Well, this seems a little bit redundant. This is a hand that could use an Octobot. I'm going to save the coin so that I can get to this a turn earlier. Could be a pillager rogue. But I've got a turn four. Ackle oh. <laughs> no it's fine. My curve's still good. This is just a good follow up and. Honestly, probably have a hard time beating Pillager Rogue if they draw well enough. So I equip weapon and swing next turn, coin the Burning Blade Acolyte. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Wait, that's also just kind of fine, I think. They're going to have a rather large roadblock coming up soon. On turn 5, I have uh, Octobot and Unearthed Raptor if the Burning Blade survives. Which it should, because I have a massive taunt in the way. Or I will have a massive Shuffle Rogue. Fantastic. Well, they're going to deal with the taunt. That's fine. I just want to get this in play to reduce the cost of these two so that my turn six could theoretically be Umbra plus uh, Raptor. It's funny because they probably think after equipping that weapon they're about to see a board of big dragons. Yeah, when I, I played against uh, King Ogre running this yesterday, and um, I did that exact. I like I played rebuke to prevent them uh, from coining the uh, the apothecary so that big dragons wouldn't be possible. Rain Cloudfall. Thank you for the four months. At this rate, who else am I going to give this to but the best Hearthstone streamer? Thanks for the great content. Go get yourself a nice new black v-neck. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Let's go here and here. Bonk. And hopefully we have a way to proc this. And if we do, we're in business. And hopefully they don't, like... Disrupt this. They have to face tank a lot of damage. So close to being able to uh, umbra the cube this turn, but oh my god, we actually drew cards off of that! 
Wow, we boned him real hard. That's the first time I've seen this card draw more than one. Yeah, it either draws uh, one or infinity, has been my experience with it. Easy. Hmm. Hunter means I need some cost reduction, I think. Good God. Uh, I think that this needs to be a Lillian game, which makes it more challenging because there's only one Lillian and there's uh, two Acolytes, but Lillian does come down earlier, so. Um, just looks like a coin swindle, tiny finder, weapon. Uh, I might deviate if I hit an Octobot somewhere in there just because, again, I need to... Uh, Get some cost reduction to go fast enough for this game. Cube can help me with the Lillian. Job done. Same Aaron, uh, but I don't have like the the juice just yet. I think I just go here, play the weapon, double twos. Toxic reinforcements is uh slow, but still um, a lot of damage if they're able to get it online. The thing is, is that it's just like early in the game, it's minus one card towards the uh, quest line completion. Is Totem Shaman still good and is it better or worse with the new attack buff basic totem? Uh, you know, I actually haven't tried. Um, it's probably okay just as like a high roll deck because the current metagame requires you to high roll. I don't see a reason to attack. I don't know what I'm even going for just yet. I guess the reason to attack is if I top deck exact. It's three damage, I guess. I mean, it's still just like a card out of their deck, though. Or out of their hand, even. Not the end of the world, but the Lepernums uh, are still concerning. Walter Victor, thank you for the two months. Appreciate that. All right, I need to make a board here that... Never mind. Oh my god, I would have loved to draw a card there. Guess it saves me two mana. What are my options? Die? I think my options are die. Or 
probably gets a Beardo. But they don't have resources for a Beardo. They're gonna get another Viper. <laughs> Six damage, which puts me to seven. <sighs> Possibly less if they have a copy of explosive here. Just gonna passage into the acolyte. I think that's my only chance. How would you build a value rogue deck? Uh, right now, I probably wouldn't. It's just uh, probably not a very good matchup, is it? Bonin on two is pretty good. Mr. Meat Missile. <laughs> Fitting name for what I just said. Thank you for the prime. Uh oh. Uh, so either weasels or boars, I would imagine. Okay, we got non death rattles out of the deck, so we can bone them real hard next turn. Get boned. All right. Uh, might have gotten a boar in hand off of that. Yeah, this is bad. Got to kill that uh, before the copying starts happening. And I just want to set up for a Lillian, I think. Lillian and Cube can maybe get me there. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah! All right, that's two boars down. Um. That's not a Twilight's Call. Not really red. That's a Twilight's Call. Dang. Oh my god. It's the 6th and 7th boars. A race from here. I think that's uh, GG. This is why, well, not necessarily. They go up the Amara next turn, right?
I should be able to get through the Amara. I don't know. You are safe now. I don't think I have enough damage. Unlucky. I wonder if I needed to work an Umbra in there somewhere. Opponent just mega high rolled on me, right? Raise dead, double insight, Twilight's call. Like, that's literally all you need. I make my own luck. It's tempting to keep the explosive shape in case of aggro. But it's really bad if it's not, so I'm just going to take the risk. I can set up taunts if it's aggro and the, the taunts are good in either matchup. Read this. Get two, three, and figure out something for four. To go here and here, but I won't be able to proc that. Maybe they'll do it for me. All right. Start doing damage, I guess. I just go uh, Infiltrator Lillian and uh, Raptor behind it. Token summons? Overgrowth, okay. I just want to apply as much pressure as possible so that they aren't in a situation where they can safely play the alignment. Here and here next turn. This is just bait. No more night. Yeah. It's unimportant. That's a swipe that's not being used effectively. I don't need the cost reduction with this hand right now. I don't think it's worth it, yeah. Job done. I was considering the prize blender for an extra four, but I can do that in future turns as well. Or not. It would be relatively difficult to kill me right now, right? No panther on the board. Ashes. 
Should be GG. Let me see. Easy. Demon Hunter. In this economy? This my final form. I make my own luck. Might be nice to be able to deal with the scaling one drop, right? And I don't think I need double swindle. Just assume that it's odd and then be wrong. Coin this bad boy, look for a shiny finder, and immediately become disappointed. I just don't have anything. Okay. That's something, but I can't play it, so. I think holding the prize blender is just the way to go. I don't really know what type of deck I'm up against yet, so. My hunt goes on. Could be fell. Yeah. That's something worth setting up. So I can go weapon next turn. Um then burning blade and attack with a second weapon. Or I can get Glid. That would be a bummer. Probably dump some of these one drops in preparation for that. Looks like they don't have it. This is a card that they mulliganed and didn't choose to put in that slot, so... Still probably worth uh, going Necron Blade plus something. I don't know if I want it to be the prize plunder because that can be valuable. go here and reduce some of these but no just gonna give up the broom here set up for this next turn hey taskless welcome to the stream We'll start from the opponent. Do I want damage here? It kind of feels weak to like Immolation Aura, which I imagine they're running. So I'd rather go with this. And I can go here, here, here. Yeah, there's the ammo. Great 
Deck too strong. Prepared to bone. Wow. That would have been good if it were a uh, shadow brace, but it is not. So I'm just going to bone him on turn two. Oh, it's big priest. That means we need to go faster and bigger. Octobot helps us go faster, but not necessarily bigger. But, like, raptors are pretty good to copy in this. Okay. Umbra could be good. Again, I just need something that actually makes board. give myself the opportunity to top deck a burning blade or a secret passage into a Lillian next turn. I guess I shouldn't have. Well, I need to attack because of the uh, the weapon prep. If I get to the point where their quest is completed, I'm probably in a bad spot anyway. What legendary should I craft for Reno Druid? Uh, I would start with Reno. Uh, okay. I don't know how many cards were in my hand, but, like, most of them were kind of bad anyway, right? Hey, there's the... Blade Man. There's the other Blade Man. Wait, hold on! Look at these swindles! <laughs> Corporate needs to find the difference between the two pictures. Actually, literally the same boom. Wait, your res pool, though. I don't have a way to deal with that without setting it off, so... Congrats to the opponent for ruining their res pool. Uh, that Terran was actually pretty important, unfortunately. Cube is also good. Just cube the big taunts. Or not. Set up for next turn where I can go Umbra Lillian. Job done. Or I can wait a turn and go Umbra 
burning blade, but I think I want the just send damage to face while it can. Where they get big taunts. Did they draw all of their minions? What if I actually go here and here? And then I use Umbra, Lillian for burst. Wait, is it just not Big Priest? Because they keep summoning <laughs> small minions. Second. Is that going to help you? Oh my god. I guess it will. Kind of feels like my last push here. I want to find Sonya for more value. That could help too. But they've used both Shadow Word and Runes. So I need to dodge a breath. Oh my god. Stop it. Uh. Oh. <laughs> okay. That was lucky. But that's got to be bad for you. I almost lost my mind there. Just losing to Psychic Scream here. Job done. I, like... I've lost all of my value minions. To... Double Hysteria, double Ruin, double Breath. I mean, at least the Res Pool is garbage. Hey, Altergeist. Welcome, Jack. Uh, I guess I still have a cube, and cubes can do fun stuff with Sonya, uh, maybe? Yeah. Let's uh, grab the Sonya here. I'm sorry, what? We submit some moments from your stream to Rop Eclipse. Yeah, that's uh, there's a channel for it in the Discord. 
I mean, I've got 22 showing on board. Uh oh. Wait, no, they killed it. But you're dead. Right? Need to dodge taunts. Oh wait, they didn't heal, so they're dead. Never mind. Oh my god, that was such an irritating game. <laughs> I hated every part of that. Just priest things. And I'm not even, uh... An anti priest person. What was that deck? You got me, I have no idea. You asked for it. I make my own. Uh probably don't beat Ignite Mage, do we? Secret Mage is also difficult. Mage in general is just probably not what we want to queue into. Okay. Sonya's pretty good if we can reduce her cost. Ugh. Oh, God. The deck does nothing but play minions. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Please play the game, for the love of God. Eld, thank you for the sub. All right, so it's got to be a Lillian game, right? Because I need minions that are stealthed and damage that can um, pop off without building a board necessarily. Honestly, that's fine to see early. Cube is good, but I do need a um, a death rattle minion to actually do something with. Elder, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate that. Unfortunately, I also have to deal with an ice block at some point. So. Alright. At least we can bone him. Very good. Okay. I mean, they can't deal with a huge board, can they? Probably can. Just need to <laughs> perpetually threaten lethal. So that was a frost. Oof, that's bad news for me. Whether it's ice barrier or ice block. Bone him again. I'm gonna hold for one more turn. I'm gonna play this on five, then on six, I'm gonna go Lillian and Raptor. That's my win condition, so I might as well play towards it. And start working Sonya's and Cubes into that mix eventually as well. I don't know where the place is.
also pretty good. My soul, thank you for the seven months. Your awful, I haven't been able to catch up in a while, but I hope you're doing well. I am, thank you. I hope the same is true for you. What if I even do this? I don't want to run the risk of, uh, like, I want, I want the Lillians, not the, um, not the taunts. Fireball not hitting my face. turn. Sonya cube. Uh, Sonya cube on the uh, Lillian if she survives. I mean cube alone just threatens lethal. No longer. But it does force the opponent on the back foot. Arcane, so it's a counter spell. Right? Or a rig fair game. We know it's not Flame Ward or Explosive, though. Uh, that's rough because that would have given me a strong play with Umbra. Rigged is not arcane. I did not know that. But it makes sense. Hey, correct, sir. All right. Just need to avoid botching the uh, block pop here. Uh, that has some potential, like, to clear off the, uh, the Varden if I need it. I don't like locking my board like this, but... Okay. No second block, no problem. Hey, Blob. Something to work towards, but I don't need the Necron Blade if I have the Shiny Finder. Baron's a good activator as well. Um, against Priest, typically I would rather have a Lillian, but I would rather just take the guaranteed uh, value minion. That's something for turn four with the uh, Swindle, potentially, because I'm always just equipping this, probably holding the weapon unless there's something I need to swing into. 
and then uh, just playing these two or four. So feels pretty good. Point palm reading doesn't actually get them to the shadow essence faster, so not necessarily a big priest. I am swinging next turn no matter what so that I can get the Acolyte online. Double palm reading does get them to the... Ugh. Shadow Essence faster. That might be a problem. Bone them. Okay. Oh, I forgot to swing. Oh, that was so dumb. Should be in a situation where I can kill that off. And then I just go Burning Blade. Uh... Yeah. It's a bad hit for them. It's going to be a good hit for them, though. Need a broom here. Not it. It's just, uh, unfortunately, not a very good matchup. Hunter also not a good matchup, fortunately. I make my own. I see you later, Element. I need to go fast. I need uh, Octobot to have a chance. That's an Octobot. Okay, the sheep deals with the uh, gnomes. It's gonna go here before I draw the second one. Then I can go here and here on the follow up. Still don't have like a good setup here. Oh my god. Um, that's not it. I need to be able to draw more cards next turn with like a swindle or something. This is an atrocious hand in this matchup. I won this. 
Actually got nothing here. Need to find Lillian or Bernie Blade off the top. Secret Passage could get me to the uh, Lillian at least. Can make some fireworks at least. Yeah, I can blow up my own, up my own board. Refill their hand, but generally lock and load goes uh, less than good cards. That's actually not a bad hit. I'm gonna send the sheep out. I'm not attacking this turn. That does something next turn. What is that? Cool. That's three damage not hitting my face. I am very okay with that. So it's not explosive or snipe, which means it doesn't seem terribly relevant. they don't have to send spells anywhere but my face. They considered the five damage not hitting me, which would have been kind of outrageous IMO. Precine is fine. I need to set up for the uh, answer to the leper gnomes here. Or just force them to do that. Wait, they already have the Tavish? Uh oh. I'm dead, right? No point in playing this out. We made it to turn eight. That's pretty good against that deck, right? Getting this online is pretty good because even lock has a hard time uh, doing things in fours. Now we get the double bone. Let's get this down first, though. Like all of the minions that they might play in the early game, just kind of get wrecked by this, right? Alright, 
Uh, the only reason I'm even bothering with that is because I want to have targets for, or have fewer targets so that Lillian can go face and I want to be able to uh, roll the bones twice next turn. Seems unimportant. Well, it's kind of important, isn't it? I'm just going to kill that with the weapon next turn, so probably trade this. Hey, Pedro. I'm not getting any younger. Your wish is my suggestion. Down. That's definitely Reno. So, want to try and uh, continue to apply pressure because if I'm applying pressure and they're re reacting to what I'm doing, they're not developing big stuff on their own, which is how I lose. doesn't draw anything, but it's an activator for the Swindle because I don't want to necessarily give away the Umbra for free here. Uh, maybe I should have ran the 4 attack in there because they have this trade. Possibly a little bit too passive. But I'm concerned because I have to take 8 next turn, it looks like. Maybe I don't. I don't want to save the Umbra for this next turn. No, I've got Umbra, other Raptor. No. Let's take eight. I'd very much like to find a Sonya or a Terran, or both. a turn before the Nazoth. But the Nazoth is kind of frightening. I 
Fortunately, Umbra seemed relatively safe. There's no two for a defile or three. Oh god, that's really bad if they have an exhaust too. Tower before me. Gonna save that for next turn in case of Nazoth. Same thing with the uh, plunder. Nothing gets past me. You are defenders of a Not a Nazoth. I, mess I could have killed the the Netheron. I did mess that up. Give me that. Love what I want. Nothing to see here. That was a mistake. I need Sonya here. The Ooh Griever. Thank you for the prime. Still have a Gul'dan to deal with, so still definitely not out of this yet. What is taking so long? More bones to gnaw. Wait, what? That's no. Don't do that. What a dreadful error. Yeah. What? What did you think was gonna happen? Yeah. 
I've got Terran as well, so I can turn these into bigger stuff. Problem is, I don't think I can outlast them. Especially with an inevitable Gul'dan. But if they keep tapping, maybe I can. Get the Terran. How do I want to do this, though? So many options. I don't think I want to take the eight. I just wait for the extortion. I go extortion. Terran. That's too risky into um, because of fatigue. I can't kill it anyway, so I won't be able to actually set up a lethal. And they just have Reno. The inevitable yellow uh folly. Or they might just go for a ten pot. have to hope it's not Polly. I'm not beating that if it is anyway, so. Good sign. Or they're just... Slow rolling it for some reason. Give me that. Not what I want. Me. I am only more. Nothing gets past me. You <laughs> Six nines. Nice. I mean, I'm just all in at this point, right? It's do or die time. They have double Moarg and an enhanced Red Lord in the Gul'dan pool. And then that. But I don't think I beat Gul'dan. Which I'm... I mean, they've got to have at this point, right? I'm sorry, what? Choose. 
I don't get there still. What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, I know they've got the Reno, but... I have to take it. really don't want to queue into any type of mage. This is such a miserable matchup for this deck, regardless of what kind of mage it is. It's a really bad hand, too. If it's Ignite, I'm just going to concede. But, like, this hand doesn't go anywhere. what that did. I can't attack into that because um, it just procs the reg fair game. Secret Mage does make my matchup a little bit better because I can at least use this to clear a board. Probably have to take that for a turn or two though. Well, let's see. Okay. Uh, this gives me openings into Burning Blade. It's one explosive down. Really don't want to use a Raptor on a sheep, though. Like, desperately trying to avoid that. I have to go face just to block the fair game. And I would like to draw a card, please. <laughs> Any card would do. Lillian in particular would be great. This is so bad. Uh, I gotta, I'll be right back. I may be gone for a while.
All right, sorry about that. I thought it was, uh, thought it was the city, uh, or thought it was the person coming to do work on my house, but it was not. It was my PC being delivered, so that's pretty sweet. Aurora Cora, thank you for the 18 months. I will probably have to dip in the very near future, though, permanently. Um, I probably need a value engine like Zola or Sonya in this matchup. I gotta pick one. It's probably gotta be Sonya. Yeah, this is damage. Gonna end your turn. No? Okay. Octobot would be nice off of the swindle to shore up my curve a bit. Tiny Finder is a good uh, silver medal here. Ooh. I think it's still just better to go like this. Because I could just curve into the Lillian. This hand honestly doesn't might not need that much cost reduction. I'm just gonna get a whole lot of Lillians. All right, next turn can be Octobot plus Unearth Raptor. Or not. Unlucky. Wanted to make space in hand in case I uh, drew a lot of death rattles. Job done. Uh, cube with Sonya is pretty good. It's less good now that I lost the, uh, the Lillian, though. get this back with the Sonya if they res it. Maybe look for Terran off of this. Oh no. Or not.
And this is probably going to have to be my last one. I'm not playing my last game against Mage, though. That's absolutely miserable. For this deck in particular. Priest should be fun. You give me strength. I make my own. Double swindle. Oh god. <laughs> the value chat. I'm gonna lead with this. Reduce more cards. That's the card we want to reduce. It's like a big priest, which means I need to get a lot of uh, Lillian value. Go here. Next turn I can go here and here. It's going to be hard to activate these though. Without like hitting a prize plunder or something. But I need to set up for like big bursty turns with the Lillian, which this does. Yeah. As a generated palm reading. I just didn't get to play this game. That's outrageous. All right, actual last one. That was not a game of Hearthstone that I got to play. There's no beating that wall of taunts, though. Boomer Poner! I give you the 2700 bits. You look like a big priest? I have never been more offended in my life. None of these are great. The broom is tempting, but I need I need something like a probably a burning blade acolyte. If I want to have a chance here. Octobot would be great off the top. Okay. Yeah, why not? That offsets some of the cannon value, and then we just have Necrian Blade to deal with it. Sure. Wait, did they draw patches? That's embarrassing. Yeah. Next turn, I can either bone them or go cube into swing for more cost <laughs> for more octobots. I think I like the like if the cube stick or the um octo sticks. I think I go for that. Oh, disappointing.
I was just about to say sheep would be really good here. They didn't need to. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, no reason to go in on that just yet. I get four damage, but... I get a big weapon. Or a big swing turn with the weapon. Yes, I don't need to be in a hurry to Secret Passage anymore. Someone's gotta lead the charge. I could even just go Sheep Terran. here here next turn i think we're ahead or i can go here 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 Gonna do it. Gonna help them. don't know what to do here. Feels like there's a play, I just can't see it. That's unfortunately not the one I wanted to hit. Not dead. But I can't set up a follow-up lethal, so I need to find a burning blade. And 
changes the breakpoints for the cannon shots to where I die. Or I can die. So yeah, they just want to go face here. They're one off. That's not a good trade. Go fishing for uh, taunt and broom. I missed them both. Wait, what? Another bulwark? Ow. Well, that was a frustrating game. Uh, both. That's the second time where, like, in an aggro matchup, I've had both burning blades at the bottom uh, then. All right, I gotta get going. Um, like I said early on, I've got uh, some work being done on the house, and I've got to set up a PC. So I will be back on uh, Thursday. So thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, let's find someone to host real quick. I'll send you over to Slizzle. I don't know how much time he has left, but uh, go hang out with him for a bit, and I'll see you soon.